Good morning. Okay, so today's training is a bit different because it came from a lot of conversations in which I've been having with new people as they start. And one of my favorite questions to ask of newbies, new distributors, is how did you see, you know, I'm big on and I train and I teach you all, I'm big on asking questions and listening, not going into any relationship with your own agenda. You know what? I'm going to be this. So this person has to be diamond in order to get my time. No, you don't want to do that. You want to find out where the person is and part they are, strengthen them to be the best they can be in that area and then put them in your chart in accordance to. That's what you want to do. You want to make sure you're doing that. So in these conversations, I'm hearing people tell me things about offline building which like the reason why they're saying offline building because they're like well i know you're the queen of online and you have all these things that are going on online but i like this and i'm like okay let me to my own team have a conversation with them that the way that i build all my brands all my brands is i utilize social media as my business card like like what was just said earlier was, if I see something, I'm nine times out of 10 going to come to that wall and see if it's legitimate, right? Um, somebody's telling you um, they lost all this weight. What would you do? Go right to their wall, see if they've done it. If they have this great fashion line, you want to go down and you want to go see it. So I've always been ingenious about building I don't know where this belly to belly name came from. So I'm going to keep on seeing it. It's, I think it's synonymous with our business, but it used to be face to face. <laughs> and so now it's belly to belly. I've always been great with doing that because I have such a great personality. Um, I get a vibe from people when I'm with them. And I tend to go with the vibe that I feel. My feelings are everything. And so I trust myself. I trust that feeling. And when I'm in front of that person, I know if like, do you see how I was just talking to Tanya in our offline conversation? I could see in her face she wasn't okay. So I was able to make a better decision because I could see her, talk to her, hear her voice inflection. You know, um, that's what works. Even now and too, I've gained some, even though I haven't seen a lot of you all, like fast face to face. Well, maybe now I have. Maybe now I've seen everybody. Just a few of you all I haven't face to face. It's almost like we know each other when we do see each other. <laughs> it's like an awkward silence for like 10 seconds then they'd be like hold on i see this girl face all the time right so therefore there's this great relationship that's been built right and even too wouldn't you say that the relationship now that's been built and now we see each other talk to each other all the time is a bit more long-standing than maybe somebody who you see on your wall all the time longer so when i was building my business um i did a lot of trainings um y'all always gonna hear me say this y'all i am huge on training i'm huge on development even now i've added some evening um personal development stuff that i'm doing pre-bed um to set to prime my brain i've been doing it now for about three weeks is finding these different things and it's been amazing for me and it's really putting me my brain in a, a phenomenal space and i'll say this is the first year so y'all I'm, I'm proud of myself this is the first year i know october november and december are huge for january if you think that you're gonna build january in january i'll be like uh you expect to build your year in in april so usually um remember yesterday i kept saying perception is reality your perception is your reality and usually what I would do pre-2018 was always know, oh, oh, here come October. Because my perception was all of the work that I've had to do so far to get myself to January, October's, I have a birthday in my house every 10 days. My sister has a birthday. My father has a birthday. There's a lot of things that are going on. It's transitionally changing. I have three kids. We got to go buy new coats. Um, now we got to hurry up and get ready for Thanksgiving. Now here comes this. And I got to get my business ready for January. So just imagine the life that I was living for the last quarter of the year. And ultimate, ultimate, the ultimate amount of stress. Uh, I'm proud of myself because I looked on up yesterday being the 15th where normally I would just like really be stressed. I'm not. I got a, a retreat that I'm doing on Friday. I'm not. 
I'm not like I ain't even all the way packed. I'm still finding things. But this would normally be stressing me out because then I got my daughter um, and her birthday and all of that. But over time, I've learned to know this time in the season is coming. Right. And to be prepared for it. And so now, even too, in my um, hair business, I know this is the time frame in which people tend to be a little bit more stressed. There's parties that are going on. It's time to get people together because they are stressed. They, don't, they ain't trying to be stressed. Come here and see you stressed. So that used to stress me because I can't be stressed with you because you stressed. <laughs> and I already know that's coming. So I'm so prepared and I'm not. I'm living, I'm almost in, in places where I'll be like, is everything okay? Because I don't have that stress that's normally associated with the last quarter of the year because I have a plan. So the reason why I felt this was so cool at this time frame is because around this time, th time frame, I focus on my relationships that tie back to my social media. So I use my social media as my, my insurance for everybody. Like, oh, she is really doing what she's going to do, but I post everything online. I use online for my real everything that I'm doing, and then I build more relationships October, November, and December. Does that make sense? So everything, like yesterday, how many of y'all know about my, my pants story? Did anybody check me out last night? This is what I typically do. Last night was real. It wasn't fake. So I want you to understand, this wasn't fake. I am really having anxiety about putting on jeans. I don't wear jeans. If you've seen me anything, I don't do jeans. And I don't do them because jeans really tell the truth. <laughs> you know, like I feel comfortable in my mind if I put on a legging, but in jeans, ain't no give. And so I found myself in Target because um, I don't want to invest yet, <laughs> right? And I was like, okay, don't get anything with stretch. And at least, Tracy, know what season you're in. Because in your real life, you know, October is where you typically, so I'll share this with anybody. And every time I've lost weight or I've done very good, I've done the best October, November, and December. You ain't got nothing else better to do but to focus on yourself. It, it ain't no parties. It's, it is, but you ain't going outside. You ain't trying to get fit in the no two-piece. Your, your distractions in that area are actually lower if you knew that and became intentional about it. So I had anxiety about it. And at first I was like, what portion? So first I was going to take a picture. Then I was like, I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm still not ready. Cause what if I take a picture with the size that I'm looking at and then I'm associated with the size that I can't fit. How would my brain feel about that? Um, my brain is not going to like that. Don't do it. So just tell everybody you're in the store with the size eight. And then I was about to go to the dressing room and I did not feel that way. I didn't. Now I'll tell you this. I already know how many women are attracted, uh, um, attached to the story of fear in the dressing room. I already know that. <laughs> so I was like, let me talk about something that I know is relatable. Okay. Let me talk about something I know is relatable. And I talked about it. And then I said, Hey, um, I'm the dressing room is going to be at the crib. <laughs> um, I, if I got to take it back, I got to take it back, but I don't feel like going in here and having anxiety, stress, any level of depression around people that I don't know, even to know I'm in this room. Cause I don't know. Will I want to cry? Will I get out? Will I cry in the dressing room, come out the dressing room and get frustrated? Cause in my mind, y'all, I'm very frustrated that I'm back on the weight journey when I was a four or six off the way journey, could throw on anything on my body. And a part of me is very frustrated with that, but then not trying to punish myself. Don't punish yourself. Life happens to us all. Get back and redo it again. So came home, put them on. They don't zip all the way to the top, but they zip. They got like this much till they actually close. So that lets me know that I'm in them. And I shared back and took a picture of them and was like, yo, I'm in them. Like they're here. That meant everything to me. Even my smile, if you could see, I usually don't smile. Sometimes I give you a cute smirk. When I'm smiling, I'm really in a happy place. And I, I wanted to caption that moment about being in that happy place. So if you're wondering why I'm telling you the story and where this plays in like building offline, wanna know how? Everyone who I talk to offline, who follows me, who saw that story, is going to ask me a question about it. 
everybody oh i saw you in those fatigues that's hot my regular market around me so to be intentional about that y'all see me dressed up today with my lip on I am trying to, and you can use this idea if you want to. There's a girl that I know that has a huge following. She also now has an internet. Um, she has an internet show. Um, people love her, talking about her. I know you. everybody who has weight knows that this hand in front of you is when you don't feel comfortable, right? So every time I see her, she has her hand in front of her. So I am taking her to breakfast this morning offline she has been watching me oh my god girl you are just amazing she's sending me all this she's always tagging and resharing so i'm taking her to breakfast this morning and she doesn't know i'm about to ask her to be a brand ambassador for be well i'm going to give her my shampoos and conditioners i'm going to give her hair some hair skin and nails she has lupus her hair steady is coming on out she actually has one of my units she's got before um and she needs to lose from what i could tell about 60 to 70 pounds I'm going to, you know, we all got extra product, right? I'm going to take all the extra products I have. I'm not buying a new kit. I have products. I'm going to take it with me and I'm going to make her a brand ambassador. And I'm going to ask her to, in order to do that and for me to help her to lose weight for the next 90 days, which is in what quarter, October, November, and December. Um, she has to post online. We have to do lives online. We have to talk about her journey and she has to be able to refer that back to me. So I'm planting the seed. Here is how I'm using the online story and my own story. So therefore, wouldn't you want to watch this? Here is this popular girl, pretty girl. I'm not going to tell you who she is or she says. Popular girl, pretty girl that I have identified in belly to belly. I want to know more about. I want to understand her story a little bit more. I want to work with her. So here is an idea. Do you have anyone around you? And I'm going to give you some ideas. You have anyone around you that you would want a brand ambassador for you? That you would want to say, for instance, you want to have a thermal. Maybe you don't want to do the full hair, all that. But maybe you really are loving your wraps. Like right now, I'm sitting here in my wrap. I'm sitting here doing things because I know good and well. Um, I'm about to jump back into this weight loss. My BVs are down. And I know my BVs are down because I'm not selling weight loss stuff. So before I come back and just switch on out and say, hey, everybody, let's get, get snatched, get right, I have to make sure I have a journey. So what are you going to do? I'm going to take this and put this back down my wall. Genuinely. Not selling. Not here's my wrap, even though this thermal fight. By my wrap. But here is my story that's associated with it. Because now that thing don't zip, I need to talk about that wrap a little bit more. So do you have somebody who you would be willing to brand ambassador? I must have a large following that people interact with. Okay. Then you can gain a relationship with. You heard me say, um, we're going to breakfast this morning. So let me give you all a statistic before we go into this. It takes, it used to take 16 times for people to say yes online. Remember I showed you the new was like 31 times for somebody to say yes. The reason being is that oh, the, over, the online is very saturated. It does not mean you cannot pull business offline. Yes, you can. But your numbers typically, if you have noticed, your numbers typically have to be really high to pull high numbers, right? But statistics show that when people, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna say this correctly, that when people have a relationship with you, they like you, they're in your warm market, they understand you, they know you're the stuff, your close ratio is typically 80%. That's pretty high if you think about that. So while everyone is online right now, and I'm doing this because a lot of us have lives offline. How about this? Everybody has an offline life. <laughs> I don't even know why I just said that. We all do. But we're focusing so much on online. For me, I'll tell you, I still am going to sell online. But I know in this season, October, November, and December, that I will share with you, I am doing better. I do better during that season in personal relationships. Getting on out. Going, people aren't as busy. They ain't on vacation. They're not doing X, Y, Z. Hey, girl, you want to do lunch? 
hey, you want to come over your house with your friends? So here's some ideas. Do you have friends in your areas that have friends that you've never met? Think about it. You have a friend that lives with the, around you that has friends that you all do not meet. They don't know what you do. You know, you have not really had a conversation with them. If so, bring a bottle of wine on over. Go do a part, like go bring a bottle, a bottle of wine on over and you all do a girl's night. And talk at that friend's house. As you're over that friend's house, have everybody always wants to know what everybody does, right? Bring your samples, have them in your cute bag, not in a bag that looks so obvious that you brought samples. Put it in your purse. <laughs> you know, like my bag is really big. So if somebody is having a conversation with you and weight comes on up or frustration, oh, you know what? I got I got that. I got that. Let me give you something. If I say 80% is high, you're nine times out of eight times out of 10, more likely to get that person to want to buy something from you, to want to see a catalog from you, to want to be able to go on your Facebook wall where you've been doing an amazing job telling your story and then really see this person is legitimate. That's one. Two, I know, Christine, um, this is an idea for you. Annie, I'm not sure. I see your daughter is doing dance. But does anybody on here do, you used to do sports and you're thinking about adult sports? Anybody on here thinking about that? So I was writing out my list of things that I wanted to do. Yesterday, I'm going to post the pictures. Um, yesterday, I went to this gym, CrossFit style. I'm trying to find something that keeps me active around a large amount of people that I can talk to and get into another room with. So yesterday, I went to a CrossFit gym. I'm anemic. It's like in a gym outside. The thing is open. I liked everybody in there, but I was like, I'm not sure. Today, as I'm dressed, matter of fact, I don't got my pen on. As I'm dressed... I'm doing my um, breakfast this morning. I'm going to some stores and then I'm going to the rec center in our area. I'm looking for an adult organization to join. Um, I just see, I, I really loved volleyball. A lot of people don't know that about me. I love volleyball, but it conflicted with cheerleading. So I chose cheerleading. And then I just used to spike in the air when I was jumping and stuff. <laughs> I was conflicted. So, but I always, I loved it. And now my daughter is doing it. So my idea is to go on up here and see if I could potentially join that league. What is the commitment that I could do? Um, then I will be able to have additional conversations. I'm sure that coach potentially would want to have me there. Like if, the, if my daughter's mom, if my, if my daughter, her mother is now playing volleyball, nine times out of 10, that coach is going to want me to do something with the organization, right? be there. They right now is closed sessions. I've been trying to figure out a way to get to those parents. Well, this may be that way. So here's an idea. I'm not sure. It may be dance. I love to dance. Like I'm a big dancer. <laughs> so I was like, okay, maybe I want to do that. Then that puts me around people. So number two, join an organization, physical organization. I'm going to give you another type of organization shortly. Join a physical organization where you're around a lot of people all the time. You're having fun. They're going to see, like right now, choose a journey that you're going to be on. Whatever journey you're going to be on, they're going to see you transition and change. You're going to be having conversations about what you do, and they're going to ask you about that. Don't go join an organization if you've done this, that you already are a part of, and everybody already knows you, and they already know what you do, and you have it. Don't do that. <laughs> go join something new where it gives you a different warm market. Get that part? So join a physical organization. We are a wellness company, okay? Do something that, if you have a baby, Diana, find you a mommy and me exercise group. There are, there are some. Check into Home Wolf Lossmore's district. There may be some that's there. Join the mommy and me something. For me, I want to. I want people to see what is the biggest shocker is when I talk to people and they talk about ages and stuff like that. 
and they're like, yeah, because you got time. And I'm like, yeah, you know, because I want to be right by 45. I'm like on this five-year journey. And they go, what? Yeah, I'm 40. What you taking? I do that on purpose because I know they want to know. And then I'm able to talk to them about collagen, give them a sample, sell them a sample. You know, I keep my stuff on me, my regimen. I have learned to keep in my bag like my big bag. So therefore, as I'm talking, I can start being like, yeah, this is what I take for this. And this is what I do here. I even keep all these products in my desk. So if I'm ever doing live, y'all, one of the things, this is a sidebar. Have you noticed you haven't really seen me doing a lot of lives down my wall, but guess where I'm doing them? In people's inbox. Sure, can I FaceTime you? So then I'm talking to them like, yeah, this is what I use on my arm. It's the, like, as I'm lifting, it's helping to sculpt. So I keep everything with me. So therefore I can add a visual. That's just a side part real quick. So coming back on in, um, join a physical group. If you have, find something fun though. Don't do something that you're not, you really, you're just not enjoying because then therefore people will not see you really, really happy. So you want people to see you happy at what you're doing. Another organization to join, join a business network. Ladies, that has done amazing for me over the years um sherry i just saw a picture of us we i saw two pictures of us sherry diamond was attracted to me like we've connected and attracted to each other um sherry will tell you for years i'm big on going to network events and also hosting my own so therefore i'm able to people are able to know me so she, she's shaking my head i don't know how many years it's been it's been a long time a long time we are not personal friends like we don't talk to each other all the time but every time i see her it's always been a yo because she's been at working events she's a real blue like everybody always tell you get you a good friend that's a real blue um <laughs> get you a, get you a blue she's a real blue go into business networking events because you're going to expand your network now people are going to say how do you do that I don't know anybody. Okay, in your Facebook page, hit your events tab. Hit the thing that says near you. Go through those events, start supporting events that are near you. Not the stuff that's all off in the shundo somewhere, because right now what I'm trying to show you is how to get that face-to-face, -face, which is at 80%. Could you imagine if you was closing 80% of the stuff you were selling right in front of you? You may not even ever touch online. That's why I don't feel, me personally, this is me as a business professional, I don't see online as being king and queen. I feel like it's a way for me to use it. I use my social media as pretty much my website, if you think about it. It's my life website. But majority of the people, even on my team, and you all wondering how I'm, I'm enrolling so many people, it's through my interactions. It's the people who I've seen. There's really not a lot of people that besides, and I see her name, Sakina, that probably I've enrolled on my team that I have not had an interaction with. Maybe that I actually met online. So that's, that's, a, that's something huge to say. I see her down here now. I met her online in an online organization that then turned into an inbox, that then turned into this. But everyone else was someone who I met belly to belly. I saw in an event, I talked to them, they followed me, we interacted, and they actually are on my team. So look at the high number of that versus online. That's not mean, I don't want anybody to say, to walk away from here thinking that Tracy is saying do not build online. I'm not. Today is to strengthen you and the, oh my God, if I wasn't online, I don't lose my business. I actually could potentially do more by not being online. I actually, like, when's the last time people around me knew something about what I did? That's what I want to strengthen you on in this season. So join a business network, okay? Joining a business network is going to increase you. Like right now, I am in one. I chose to, I don't, I didn't want to be in a free one because I've been in business so long. I wanted other people that wanted to invest. So I spend a monthly membership and I made sure it was more of a premium monthly membership to be in the group that had premium women that wanted to spend. 
So I've been able to have access to their networks. We're in a group me every day. Um, they ha they're having events. I'm being invited to them for the holiday season. As they're inviting me to theirs, I'm asking them about if they, at what do they have vendor space? Are they do they have a swag bag for me to put something in my information? I'll tell you right now. I feel like I need water. I'm barely swallowing. Um, I want to say off the top of my head, I think there's about nine things that I'm involved with now, now with just by being in that group. Also, too, we just did a big dinner on the 13th. If you saw me post when I was out with my husband when we went out for a dinner, uh, we just did a, did a big deal. We did a big dinner with a brand owner that is a multimillionaire that now we've got pulled into another dinner to be with them. Um, asked to do some additional stuff with them. And also, too, she has put me in contact with somebody who wants it works. Like, it's a, it's a lead, but they want it works for the purpose of potentially being able to retail it. So do you see with that, that business relationship that her seeing me? Then everyone in the organization, when they saw me, was like, oh my God, you got to help me, girl. Start pulling me off to the side. You look great. I wore my hair back in a bun. So people, I told you, this is my favorite. Pull my hair back so you can see my face, see my structure, see my skin, ask me questions. I had my daughter purposely do me in a natural face, if you all saw that. Had me do me in a natural face. So therefore, I looked approachable. Every one of the ladies wanted to know about my skin regimen, my makeup, my outfit, and how it is that I'm keeping myself together. So I have a consultation with all of them that I'm like, we should get to know each other, girl. Is there a wine bar somewhere we're able to go to? Do you see now what's happening? What is going to happen with that as we start gaining more, I'm now going to get into their network, which is in mine, and they have a large network. Every woman in this network has a page that you can't even befriend them on. It is full. You understand? So this is what I'm sharing with you that I want you to start doing for yourself. Get you into some networks, not, on, not just online networks, but something that you can actually go support that supports some of the things in which you believe in. I suggest you find a network that's in your five. The five things that you're interested in, like I know, Tyronica, you're interested in real estate um, and investing, right? You, why not join an investment club? You know, investors need creative financing. Why not be a rep? So I'm taking some time and even being a little bit slower in this area because this isn't the conversation we have all the time. It's always about the UMFO app, UNUM, all of whatever. But I feel like people are missing the obvious, which is right around you. Here's another. If you are someone that is working, does everyone in your office know what you do? Everyone. If they don't, they should. Now, you don't, want to, you don't want to be the person in your office that's like, hey, y'all, y'all must drink these greens. No, but I'll ask you this. Are you living your best life in your office? Do they see you maybe, um, say, for instance, in the bathroom and you're taking off your wrap? Do they see you in the meeting blending your stuff? What's that? Do they see you having a change? People that are around you, are you being an intentional to share what you're doing? Do you have your pan on? Do you have samples there that are ready if they need them? Christine, you do gymnastics. Give all the moms sample bags. Courtesy of you for the pre the holiday. Great idea, right? Like things that are right around you, you could probably, let me tell you this. You could close out, a, if you had a great network right around you, think about you wanting to do 20 orders. Do you know if you had a great network around you and you haven't tapped into it, you could literally do 20 orders in a week? Because you, you're coming in contact with, think about the Girl Scout cookie effect. <laughs> Them Girl Scout cookies not getting sold online. They getting sold, sold door to door. And they raising dough and been doing it for years. Here's another one. 
parties. What type of ingenious parties can you do right now? I've been challenging myself, so I'll give you all some ideas. Um, I do want to do a wine party where we do a wine tasting. We try different things, and then I throw in some of our sip and sample stuff. Um, I want to do a weight loss party. Want to learn how to lose weight? We're going to go through different regimens. We're going to talk about different diets. I want to do a spa party. You remember the old Mary Kay? Everybody in here, have you done the Mary Kay party? I ordered me out some trays. So therefore, I can end my tray, do an old school Mary, Mary Kay party. My mama used to do Mary Kay, y'all, and I used to practice. Remember the little pink box that used to sit on up and have all your stuff? <laughs> uh, I want to do a Mary Kay style spa party, getting yourself ready. I'm going to hire, well, no, I'm going to partner with a makeup artist who wants to teach people how to do their own look for holiday parties. So I'm going to teach you how to have skincare, exfoliate yourself. The makeup artist is going to show us all how to do our makeup. And then also, too, if they want to book the makeup artist, the local makeup artist for their party, that's how she'll be able to get her business. So those are just a few. Parties. What type of different ones can you have? Oh, here's another one. I used to do it in my salon. Remember when... um. um Sex in the City was out. We used to do Sex in the City night with martinis at the salon, which was so fun. So now um, somebody was talking about all the different ways, like the chocolate, the mocha, the pumpkin spice. I need to rent a movie. Now, this is going to be a little bit higher, but guess what? This is how my brain thinks. Anybody ever been to IPIC in Bolingbrook? I know a lot of you all don't live here. You know, you can rent the whole movie theater, right? I could do a movie night. And then the sponsor it with like the hot chocolates, the cocos, the stuff like that with um, um, our greens, different ways to be able to make that. And the way with your entry could be a purchase. I'm going to marry that. That just came off the top of my head because I'm actually writing these things on out. I'm writing out different um, ideas for me to be able to get with people. Um, I'm also, too, taking some of our samples and I'm stapling them to my blitz cards the greens, the collagen. And the reason why is I'm forcing myself to give those out with my information to people who I come in contact with in the grocery store. Target. I remember I told you I'm a giver. I love to give. I just don't feel the value and I like to be valuable. I'm looking like, where's all my stuff at? My dang on kids at my desk. I have my Blitz car sitting right here. <laughs> um, I don't feel in the value in just the card, but with a sample, I feel like I'm giving her something. So it makes me feel like I actually want to give, you know what? Hey, I want to give you something. Hold on one second. Uh, I'm a health and wellness. I'm a beauty and wellness consultant. And this is some of my product. I think it would be great for you. You know, I want you to have this. Are you on Facebook? I'd love to follow up with you and see how you like it. This is forcing me to have to do something that I'm not comfortable with. Because I'm not a big blitzer. I like when you ask first and then I'll give it to you. But I love to give. So here's a way that I tricked myself to be able to blitz a little bit better. So in your regular interactions, your regular interactions, how can you create diversion in your regular interactions? Because remember, it's 80% there. It's higher online. And again, I'm not taking you offline. I'm making your brain be challenged about the things that are right around you in your face. Here's another one. Get your gym schedule in your area. Do you take classes in your gym? Take classes in your gym. Those people are, fr be friendly. I even now, this is, uh, I have the best side hustle shirt that's on. I'm dressed for breakfast this morning for this meeting and also too to get in the gym. Now I'm wearing my shirts in the gym. I always used to set up in the gym afterwards and take a shower and then, you know, create diversion. I don't know. Let me, let me even tell you about that because a lot of people don't know this, but I do it all the time. If I go to the gym and I take a shower out on our Marvel area, I'll pull out all my products while I'm talking to people. My skincare, I'm about to wash my face, everything, all on out. And people are coming on over there because people nosy. What's that? Oh, you do this? And then while we talking, this is the this is the best one. While we talking, yeah, girl. And um, 
and I'm doing all like this. And they're like, what's that? Oh, this is the finding gel. You know how we just finished lifting the weights? I need to make sure all my muscles pop through. And I'm doing that in the locker room. And when you do that and you're a little bit louder, if just an octave louder, everybody starts paying attention to what you're talking about. I'm telling you this works because it works every single time. It's a different group. We all nosy. We all want to know what everybody is doing. I even do stuff like that when I'm at the restaurant. So I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. Can't y'all tell? I mean, I'm not not high group, but I ain't had my coffee yet this morning because in breakfast, I'm going to make my coffee with the waiter. I already have a coffee sample stapled to um, my Blitz card. So if the waiter asks and talks about it, I can actually give her, the waiter a coffee sample. Um, and I would love, I love talking to waiters about they need extra income because waiters don't make money. And anytime you blitz somebody, you have to make sure that you tip the highest percentage people. You have to tip 20%. If you go talk to somebody about your business, because if you want them to be a DT and yet you only gave a dollar or two, I don't want to be a part of a business where you barely tip. That means you don't have anything. So I'm giving you that too. If you're going to tip in a, in a restaurant and you want to blitz, you better make sure you have a tip on there. <laughs> you wouldn't, ain't nobody calling you back. You can't even tip. So I already have this stuff that's ready to go. That car idea I had, I'm going to take a picture. I got to do it. It's freezing. I then bought the little things for my car yesterday. I told you all about letting my hood on up and letting that be my, my store. It's freezing. I haven't had time to get on out there. I got to bundle up to start putting everything together correctly in my trunk. So I have a truck. I'm going to lift the hatch. And anybody who's interested will be able to buy from my truck. And so I'm able to keep my inventory. I use Square. I'm able to keep inventory. No one is low. No one is time to reorder. So today was about making sure that you are you understand you can build online, offline. Your numbers will be higher. Just so you know this, your numbers will be higher because. Think about you yourself. If you know someone, you're nine times out of 10 to be like, oh yeah, how many of you all, I've said this before. How many of you all, um, with your nail? How many of you all got a nail girl? An eyelash girl? Your hair girl? Does everybody around you make you the wellness and beauty girl? If they don't, you're missing a huge mark. Because everybody who see me got, do you know all my friends go to my lash girl? They all do. What you doing? Where you get your makeup done? As soon as I get my stuff done, they want to go too. That's why I'm training my daughter because y'all about to start paying my daughter <laughs> for your makeup. Because that's how we do. We all typically will go. So what I would always tell everybody in the salon is if you have a girl that's in the salon and you're only doing her and you're not doing her friends, you're not doing her well enough because we all flock together. So if you don't have her crew, you're doing something wrong. So I'll tell you this here. If you don't have the crew around you, you're not doing a good enough job of grabbing your warm market that's right in your face that could potentially close out. You could probably in one area close 400. I'm going to tell you this right now. I've been in sales for a long time. $400 is not a lot. It's not at all. It's not at all. So check your perception. It can become your reality. So I do not want anybody thinking $400 is a lot. You can close $400 in a day if you got the right surrounding. In a whole day. You can, you can close a 400 box. If you on a great weight loss journey, you can sell four of those things to four people who want to be on a, a, weight, a weight loss journey and close a whole box immediately. You can close a dead box by that immediately. So what I saw was we're not as a team. I'm in the E-suite too every day. We tripping y'all. And the money is right around you thinking, oh, I don't want anybody sitting around here thinking in this season, oh, I'll just wait till January. Your light's going to be off. Your gas going to be off. You're going to be starving. You're going to be hungry. <laughs> let, me, let me make you scared. That's not going to work. 
<laughs> That's not gonna work. You still gotta live through these holiday seasons. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Do that today. Yesterday, how many of you all did the activity yesterday? I posted how many I got. The 30 minutes in the hour. Did you see? Did that do something for you? Did that show you that you got a heck of a lot more time on your hands than you really thought that you did? And you also know people that you didn't realize that you do, but you haven't been intentional about reaching on out to them. Now, let me challenge you with this one. What if you did that every day? Every day, you try to find a half hour and an hour. You really could live the best life that you're talking about because you don't have to interrupt anything in what you're doing. You literally are just taking your job with you every day. Oh, I'm sitting here waiting on them. Oh, I'm sitting here doing this. Yesterday when I was at Target, I was posting about, because y'all pretty much can tell, I'm, I'm, I'm gearing up for a weight loss story. I'm gearing up. I took a, I signed a distributor and my earpiece in Target. I gave away two samples because this lady was watching me do everything. I gave it to her and her friend. She was watching me do everything with my daughter because my daughter was buying a coat, getting on my whole nerve. And she was watching me do everything. And she was like, oh my God, you're such a multitasker. I was like, yeah, I, I show people how to do this. I live my best life. You know, this is my business. And she was like, what business are you in? I said, in wellness. She said, oh, really? I said, let me give you your information. I gave her the stuff with the samples. I put her on my Facebook. I told her I would check in with her this morning. Remember, these exercises I'm showing y'all, I'm not just showing them for that moment. I'm doing it every day. I got right in her inbox and was like, hey, good morning. It was such an amazing time you knew yesterday. You know, I hope you love that sample. Make sure you get your, because I gave them two greens. Make sure you get your water enhancer. And I'm going to check back in with you a little bit later to see how it tastes. So I'm going for a sale. Right? So, being you saw how intentional that made you, I got another do task for you today. You ready? <laughs> I know y'all like all this dang on homework. These are things though, I want you to be able to say, for instance, our Zoom goes down. And our Zoom is down and you can't get to Tracy. You can't make a phone call. Tracy's sick. Tracy on vacation for a week. That you still have activities that you're able to do. So today's activity, and you still should be keeping up with the other ones, okay? Add them into your day. Today's activity is to create a list of 100 people. This is a new hundreds list. Y'all should have multiples. Queen. <laughs> and Maurice said, dang. <laughs> new 100s list. You're about to have a 200s list. You ready? You're going to have 100 people that you know around that are not online that could potentially be your customer. I want your neighbors, your people in your regular events that you go to, your people that you interact with all the time that you have not talked to. I want you to develop that list. Okay? In your warm market, they cannot be online. This is not your 100s list from online. This is your 100s warm list. Add to it constantly. If maybe right now, here is a, here is a uh, shocker. If you get on this list from people that you talk to all the time and this list isn't big, you got work to do because you sell more in your warm market than you do in your cold market. So if you don't know people, you're, that's why you're having a problem because it's supposed to be blended with your warm and your cold market. You're not always just supposed to be relying on online because eventually you're going to run out of that, right? So you're going to build that list first. These are the people that could potentially be your loyal customer. Second, your second 100s list. How many people around you? I know. How many people around you that you're missing potentially could be your distributor? that you're missing. Who is it? So I told you all I carry a book. So say for instance, here's how you add to these lists. Say for instance, you just went to breakfast this morning and Tina did an amazing job and you gave her the stuff you're supposed to follow up with her. 
if Tina is not on your list, you're going to forget Tina. She wasn't that important. Think about this. She was just the waiter at the restaurant. A week from now, you won't even remember Tina's name, especially if you ho restaurant hopping. So what you should do at that moment is take Tina's name, take Tina's information where you found her at, write her down in that list. So when you steady trying to find DTs, you remember Tina. Let me go back to the breakfast joint on the corner because I ain't, I ain't heard from Tina in a minute. That's how she stays in your brain. That's how you grow that. Because you got it written down. When it's written down, it's going to become intentional. It's going to become an activity in which you actually get done. Literally because it's written. If you have your next door neighbor, Johnny. No, uh, we say we work with, I say I work with girls. Uh, Leslie, your next door neighbor, Leslie. And she's on your list. And you're really trying to get her. Guess who's going to be outside when Leslie outside? <laughs> guess who gonna be outside when we cutting grass and we talking to kids and we walking things around we taking out the trash because you're trying to be intentional with Leslie but if Leslie isn't written down and she's not on your radar guess what when she outside you just watch her car move because you hadn't even thought about it I'm gonna tell you one big thing I'm missing by, some, by, by not being intentional so I'm gonna throw myself underneath the bus I'm sure my husband gonna hear me on this one my neighbor across the door or across the street, their step is the woman's stepdaughter. This child is at my house so much, I have to factor things into my grocery bill because she spends the night. She's everywhere. You've probably seen her at time frames. Um, even yesterday when I'm at Target, she's with Target with me. They have two small young kids. At one time when I had a nanny, my nanny, she used to want to use my nanny with me. And I was so against that. Like, nah, we can't share a nanny. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that. She has two small kids. The husband works in Canada. Listen to this. He drive, he will stay on up there. And I know they do additional things for extra income. They're looking for extra income. Because I've been so online, I have not told, her name is Desiree. I take our girls to volleyball on Tuesday. She takes our girls to volleyballs on Thursday. I have not given this woman a sample. I ain't told her about my business opportunity. Not a damn thing. And it's been nine years. Right across the street could be my potential distributor. But because she's not on my list, I have missed that. Today is over. <laughs> she gonna get something on Thursday when they get she gotta take the kids. Oh, she getting the pack. I need to go have a conversation. She said, My phone, I got her phone number and everything. Ain't said not a word. And y'all see how good I am in business. Ain't said a word. So, how many of those opportunities is somebody else missing? Right in front of you. She can at least drink coffee, <laughs> she can at least get some collagen. We're not the same age, and she looked like my age. I know, girl. I'm sorry. So I could be doing some work that I haven't done. So today, build that list. Add to that list. Now, listen, if you don't know 100 people and you can't fill the list, that doesn't mean, oh, gosh, I'm doing it wrong. No, but you should always have a working 100s list. Now, I'm just challenging you to have different ones. I have an online 100s list for distributors, online 100 list for loyal customers, on um, offline 100s list. How many things am I doing around here that people know everything I do? That's why I'm at in October, November, and December. October, November, and December. How many things are on your list of events that you're going to? Are you all going to Christmas parties? Are you going to Thanksgiving stuff? Are you going to somebody else's house? If no, how many new things can you do? Maurice, he's around here. We, um, the Chris, I don't, I'm not, I'm about to try this year. I want him to hear this. I'm about to try this year. I'm not as festive. I think that's because I've always been like stressed around this time frame and now I'm not. Um, there's a Christmas light. I found four things in our area, like a Christmas tree lighting. They even have apple cider and Macy's. 
things that I can actually go to right around here and actually pass out things while I'm there. Gain relationships. I've even been taking more time that when I'm in the gym to stop and talk to people. I don't know about y'all, but I'll be so focused on my own self. I'm missing other people. And I stopped and had three amazing conversations that's about to turn into dinners that's going to turn into me getting into their actual network that I just be missing. So hopefully you love today's training. Because even while I'm talking to you today, I'm sitting here thinking about a few other things that I can actually be doing that I'm missing that are right around me that literally I could probably get, again, you could get 20 people. If you around enough people, you could get 20 small orders. You could, I'm not going to limit you like that. You could get 20 large orders if you had a weight loss journey from your regular people in which you're interacting with every day. Got that? So... Today, homework, activities. Have you done your getting in people's inbox this morning like the, ex at the exercise to talk to them, to say good morning? If you haven't, you should do that. If you haven't been doing that, you should do that. Number two, do you have your sample bags ready? Are you selling your samples? Do you have a way for them? Are they always with you? Your hundreds list, have you added to them? Have you added new people to them? Are you intentionally every single day adding to that hundreds list about who could be your customer? If you are not doing those three things, I'm not going to say that there's not others, but I'll tell you those right there can keep you busy because I see everybody face. <laughs> These can keep you busy for a minute. And parties. Party, 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 party. Sherry, since you're on here, I'm going to say this because I was supposed to reach out to you yesterday and I didn't ask you on the text message this morning. Intentionally, this is so cool. I texted Sherry yesterday. I mean, I added Sherry yesterday to the text list. Texted her this morning because I wanted to make sure we got in contact. Now Sherry is on here today. Sherry, I want to offer my salon for you to fill my salon with a party. Look at her. Free location. I want us to, we, we can talk about if we want to do it as a wine social, a sip and sample. What do we actually want to do? But I, I, Sherry is a blue and I have not activated up my blue as much as I can. I know you've been busy. Your job, you were a whole bunch of men. We need to, Jesus. Um, <laughs> we need to get her where she can be around some women. But I want you to feel my, I want to use my salon as the location to do a party. Um, after five o'clock on a Saturday is when I want us to do a party at the salon. So I'm telling you, so I don't forget. I, but that's why I will. And, and I'm even look at that. Look at what just happened. This is the distributor that's on the team. Um, we haven't seen Sherry's face in a minute. But look at how you're able to reactivate something that's already in your pipeline. But again, you want to know how I haven't been able to do it? Because this is what we've been doing. Right? Missing all the opportunities right out and right in front of you because we're doing like this so much. So I'm going to put together a time frame today. I'm going to do some power hours. I'm going to do a power double hour today. I just got to figure out what time I'm actually going to be back in the house. And during that time frame, I'm going to be working on these activities working on putting people on the list, working on texting. So it will be a guided power hour of what activities we're actually doing. That is going to come today. I just don't know how long these meetings and stuff like that in which I'm doing are actually happening, but I'm going to do them. So therefore you'll actually see what they look like. And I'll make sure I post it out into the Be Well group of what I'm actually going to do. Now I'm going to encourage you all. I'm not the only person that could do a power hour. If somebody else feels like, Hey, I can take this day, I can take a Tuesday, I can take a Monday, please let us know. Let us know if you want to actually lead a power hour too. Maybe you have a really good idea and you feel like, hey, this is what I want to do. Sure. If you don't blitz well, team up with somebody who blitz well. If you don't write scripts well, team up with somebody who writes scripts well. Go out and find somebody to help you in your areas of lack. So thank y'all for turning on in. I'm not gone. I'm about to log on off. Anybody knows if you stay on, you get the opportunity for aha and for questions. 
I'll be posting out right on after this before I actually go what Wednesday's training is going to be like because you're actually going to need some things for Wednesday. So I want you to make sure that you're able to do them. Okay? Toodles!